Hey Zero Group, it's Greg. I picked up my 2018 FX uh, 7.2 integrated today. Um, zero miles on it, but I've jumped right in. Um, got the seat off, the front plastics off. Not too big a deal. Um, Ken over at Mount Holly has uh, hooked me up with the bike. Um, he installed the Cycra hand guards earlier and the um, rear rack here. So while the seat's off, I'll show you. The seat bolt goes through here. Um, yes, this is a 2018. It has the white plastics. They are over here. Um, I, I don't really want the white, actually. Um, so I have the... Um, the rear pieces as well. This came with the rear rack because it has this extra little cutout here. Um, and I'm not sure if Zero doesn't make the, the, the plastics for the rear rack in white yet for 2018 or if the, uh, the parts guy at the dealer um, just ordered the wrong part. But either way, happy mistake because uh, I want the bike to be black or something not white anyway. Um, regardless so that's already happened I put the um, a Cherubis uh, bunt guard on with a little bit of trimming that wasn't too bad in the process of doing that I found this little gem the uh, rear shock ground is zip tied uh, it's bolted on this side but this side is zip tied to the shock that's the ground strap um, I probably would have done it a little differently myself um, I swapped the mirrors Got the RAM adjustable ones for going off-road, so you can just fold them down real quick. Um, put them on already. Um, I got some risers down here somewhere on my workbench. Um, I got to put them on still. I pulled the ABS fuse already, which is on this side. It's a big... The ABS motor fuse. There's a couple ABS ones on the... The 12-volt fuses are, are under here. They're a little hard to get to. Um, this is after taking the plastics off. Um, so I don't know how easy they would be to change on the fly if you needed. Even if you had tools, it'd be a little tough to get to. The ABS fuse is this guy here. I haven't put that um, connector back into the frame yet. Um, I cut the flap for the charging port. Um, trying to take this off is a bit of a monster. The instruction manual just says, oh, just remove the five connectors. Well, like one of them is way back up under there behind the motor. Um, and very nearly impossible to get to, but you can just feel, I'll show it to you, if I lift the flap, which I've already cut, there's our favorite Anderson connector, um, but you can just feel it, so you can just kind of like, if you push there, you'll feel the connector right up underneath that corner, so it's just in this upper corner here, and I just took a, a box cutter and, and cut the flap um, without taking it apart. Um, this is the integrated battery, it still has the little um, key lock release deal, back here. I haven't tried to open that up. I don't know if the uh, integrated battery is removable in the same fashion as the modular ones. I, I suspect not and I don't really want to get into the high voltage stuff personally. Um, there's everybody's favorite green watt power uh, charger. So the charging connector on the FX is up there up under the, uh, the front area. There's the charger. There's the controller. Um, this is the flasher. Here, this um, just sits on that little rubber um, uh, frame tab there. I got an electronic flasher for the LED lights, uh, but I'm not having much luck. So um, the, the pinout uh, on this flasher is backwards of what's in the unofficial manual um, for the previous years, which actually makes it normal uh, because the previous years were actually kind of a strange uh, pinout that was hard to find. So this actually makes it easier to find, but I already bought the uh, other flasher, so i got to um, get a new one of those. Also, my LED light is too big to fit in the housing and put it fits in there, but the, the cover doesn't go back on. So I'm not having much luck with the LED side of things, um, but I will um, get the correct flasher and the correct bulb. Um, I did replace the running lights, so there it is, oh, there it is. magnified. Um, so I got some LED lights, um, the running lights, uh, you can only really see on the off headlight. So if the low beam's on, you see it on the high beam side, and if the high beam's on, you see it on the low beam side. 
Um, that's about it. I did get, that's the, the one I did. There's a single bulb uh, in the in the rear tail light that I did upgrade with an LED. Um, ABS unit is over there. I might have already pointed that out. The DC DC is somewhere under here um, behind the controller in front of the motor in that little triangular area. Again, that those covers are kind of hard to take off and I don't have the modular so I can't get it from above or, or that I know of. So i um, not sure what I'm going to do there. Uh, like I said, I got to put the risers on yet. Phone mount. Um, I don't know. A couple other things. That's about it. But um, so yeah, I uh, myself have a couple weeks to recover from a uh, back surgery, so I'm not going to be riding it, but I can tinker um, for a couple of weeks, and then hopefully later in July I'll be able to get it properly dirty. I got some somewhere up here. Here's some tires, some cheap Kenda K270s that I'm going to be put on it. Um, but I am a two zero owner now. And I'm pretty happy about that. Um, I did the firmware update today through the app, um, which was awesome to be able to do that myself. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Put my FOBO sensors on. I made a post about them earlier. So tire pressure monitoring. Um, that's about it, guys. Thanks for tuning in. That's an FX kind of pulled apart so you can see where everything is. Um, pretty straightforward. Talk to you all soon.